Thanks so much. Thank you, Thank you so much, Sirvan, for sharing your story. Um, that's a great way to start the morning. My name is Russell Crumno. I'm the Managing Director of Opportunity Nation, and it's my honor to welcome you to today's National Opportunity Summit. Today, there are a thousand leaders in this room from all across the country and from all different sectors to tackle the signal challenge of our time. How do we effectively expand opportunity to more Americans? How do we make sure the zip code you're born in does not determine your destiny, especially for the rising generation? Joining us in this room today are employers, big and small, innovative nonprofit organizations, higher education institutions, and many leaders in the foundation and philanthropy world and most importantly, the part that we are so excited and honored about is that there are hundreds of diverse, dynamic young adults in this room that are going to be part of today's conversation. The focus of the this, of this summit is young people because when they do well, we all do well. We cannot truly be an opportunity nation with so much of our young talent currently on the sidelines of today's economy. Youth employment is at a crisis level right now. It has huge ripple effects, not just on the lives of those young adults, but on our communities, our economy, and in fact, our global competitiveness. Today, we've brought leaders together to recognize this challenge and to start talking about what we can do together to move the needle through a shared call to action. You're gonna be hearing, as you just did from Servan, living, breathing examples from young adults all day long and concrete pathways like the one that he found through Newberger Berman. You're gonna hear stories from young people. What barriers are they facing and what's working in their life that we can all join together and scale up? Opportunity Nation wants to thank everybody for being here and for coming with a really constructive attitude to jump into the dialogue. We want to take a second and thank uh, some special people who made today happen. First of all, our co-conveners who are putting on today's summit with us. That's the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation, the Business Roundtable, Jobs for America's Graduates, and United Way Worldwide. We also want to thank the hundreds of organizations in our coalition. Opportunity Nation is a coalition of partners. We could not do this without you. We also want to briefly pause and thank some special partners, including our summit signature partners, Bank of America, the City Foundation, and State Farm. These are companies who understand youth employment matters, not just for their own business, but they also want to bring people together for a conversation around solutions. We've also had two partners step up as summit champions, the Annie E. Casey Foundation and the Walmart Foundation. And a big thank you to the Case Foundation and the Apollo Education Group, our summit leaders. We've also had a bunch of other organizations help make sure that all of us could attend at no charge, especially including the young adults who are here. And we want to thank all of them, the ACT Foundation, AT&T, GAP Inc., IF Hummingbird Foundation, the Kresge Foundation, McKinsey, and the Rockefeller Foundation. These companies and the dedicated teams who work at them have been true partners in building today's event. And thanks to their support, we have a thousand champions from all different sectors in the room today. So why are we focusing on, on young adults? Um, when Opportunity Nation first launched in 2011, we developed a tool with our fantastic research partners, Measure of America, called the Opportunity Index that measures 16 different factors and assigns every state and county in the country a score to give us a comprehensive sense of what's going on. And it confirms what we already know. When young adults do well, when they're plugged into effective pathways, communities do well, and the opportunity scores tend to be higher. We are facing a stubbornly high youth unemployment rate. Even as the economy recovers from the recession, it's twice the national average, and the Opportunity Index data tells us that, in fact, 5.6 million young adults are totally disconnected from both school and work. So join the dialogue today. Engage with the people sitting around you at your table. Talk to people that you don't know. Uh, participate actively in the impact sessions that are going to be starting later this morning where you can really roll up your sleeves and jump in. Um, and make sure you take advantage of the chance to talk to the young people in this room that I guarantee uh, will inspire you. You can also join the discussion on social media. You can use the hashtag OpSummit. And you can also tell us about a moment in your life when a door to the American dream was open for you. What was your opportunity moment? Or commit to the opportunity moment you will create for someone else after today's summit back in your community. Now I'm thrilled to introduce our next speaker as a former mayor and a leader in the United States Senate. He understands the challenges of creating education and career opportunities even in a difficult political climate. He's committed to working across the aisle to tackle the big issues facing us and he has championed critical legislation on the very issue we're discussing today. He's particularly passionate about and committed to making sure young adults succeed in America. Join me in welcoming Senator Cory Booker. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.